Hi there, welcome back. In the previous video, we looked into different ways of making crawling text and rolling credits in DaVinci Resolve. Today I will show you a couple of updates in the Essential Scroll text template, which allow us to create complex rolling credits and crawling text easier and faster. Add a scroll text clip to the timeline, and there are three changes in the inspector. Two parameters are added to the scroll section. The offset parameter is used to adjust the animation timing. This is the main parameter we'll be using for today's demo. The speed parameter allows us to set how fast the animation runs. If we want to scroll the text multiple times, we can increase the speed. For example, when the speed is set to 3, it will scroll the text 3 times. At the bottom, I added a new button to toggle the background. This is a shortcut to turn on and off backgrounds and borders for both the main text and header text. It's very handy when you need to change the layout quickly. Sometimes when we create horizontal crawling text, we want to use multiple clips for different text lines, instead of keeping a long text in one clip. Here on the timeline, I have three clips with different text. Go to the beginning of the first clip and adjust the scroll start to position the text outside of the screen on the right side. Move to the end. Change the scroll end value so that the text is out of the view from the left side. Play the clip. It's a bit too fast. Extend the clip. Now it looks good. Repeat the steps for the second and third clip. OK, we now have the scroll text tuned individually. Move the playhead to the place where we want the second line coming in. But the first line is gone when the second one is playing. This is because the background is still active on the second clip, which blocks the bottom clip. Make sure the second clip is selected. Click the Enable or Disable Background button to turn off the background. We now have both the first line and second line visible. Similarly, move the playhead to the position where the third line scrolls in. Disable the background. But now we have two issues here. The first one is that the background is gone after the first line. And the other one is that these three clips don't scroll at the same speed. To address the background issue, we just need to make a copy of the first clip. Clear the main text. Change both start and end to zero, so the scrolling effect is disabled. Extend the duration to the end of the third line. Now we have the background across all three clips. For the inconsistent speed issue, we can adjust the clip duration to speed up or slow down the scrolling effect. But that's a visual judgment, not mathematically accurate. To guarantee the exact same speed on all clips, we can use the longest clip as the base. In this case, it's the last clip. Extend other clips to the same duration. Set the start and end to the same values as in the longest clip. All the three clips now have the exact same scrolling speed. Select the first clip, adjust the offset, so that the text starts scrolling from outside of the screen. Move the playhead. When it reaches the position for the next line, align the next clip. Change the offset if needed. 
move forward to the place where the third line should start. Align the clip. Extend the bottom clip to match the last clip. That's it, we now have all the clips adjusted and aligned, as it's scrolling one long text line. In the last video, we created a one column rolling credits using the essential scroll text template. Without the offset control, it was tricky to add a title and sync the rolling with the main text. Now with the offset, we can simply duplicate the clip, change the main text to cast, clear the header text and disable the header. Adjust the offset parameter to move the title above the main text. Center the title. Great, now we have the title scrolling with the credits. If we want to have two column rolling credits, simply duplicate the main clip. Move the main clip to the left. And the second clip to the right. Delete second half of the credits from the first clip. And delete the first half from the second clip. Adjust the offset of both credit clips to match the cast title. This looks good. Just like in the horizontal crawling text, to keep them scrolling at the same speed, we just need to have the same start and end values on all clips, and with the same duration. We can use the offset to change the relative scrolling position if needed. With the same technique, we can create a multi-column rolling credits without headers, and scroll together with previous credits. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.